Hey guys, Silent Sail here. Welcome back to another tutorial video of Utah Macross with me. As you can see, we are on version 2.1.0 in the bottom left hand corner here, which is basically the brand new update for Utah Macross at this point of time on the 19th of November 2018. So we're going to take a look at the three uh, more important updates um, within this current version. Um, it's something related to do with score um, and of course a brand new mission page um, that has been added to uh, make the game a bit more appealing in terms of long term play and of course it has rewards that will appeal to the I would say newer players mostly the older players will probably make use of it just to obtain more episode orbs so that's that's one thing to keep in mind so anyway guys um so straight away i loaded up the game normally you would see this pop up um apparently they had it changed so i think people found it a bit annoying that the notice board always appears every time when you start up the game sometimes people just want to dive straight into playing uh it kind of hinders the event playing time because this always appears and you have to press cancel to get into the game so yeah if you tap here the notification for the update for version 2.1.0 you will see there is a whole bunch of listing that they have actually um, included in this update so yeah take a look here you can scroll every time you see this triangle icon at this yeah um, text you know, basically it's a point of a brand new update included but out of this whole thing only three important um, items have been added to the game so we're gonna talk about those three so as you can see straight away from the main menu itself you notice that this whole row has been changed Valkyrie operation is now here instead of here um, and of course, there's this brand new icon, which is what the, what was uh, the most important about this brand new update, which is the bingo missions. So if you guys do follow me on the Macross Space Hunter Culture Facebook group, you guys would probably know what I'm going to talk about in this video already on a rough surface. So this video is meant to be um, a full breakdown of the entire thing that has been updated into the game. So let's talk about it. So you can see I waited purposefully just for a brand new day to talk about bingo missions because one of the missions uh, in the whole nine mission list for a particular divas um, card selection i would suppose to uh, i mean I, I guess you can call it that um is to clear a daily mission so yeah um okay let's talk about the non-important stuff first so Valkyrie operations button has been changed and moved here all right so we're gonna talk about what's wrong with Valkyrie operations right now uh, due to the brand new update so as you can see I have a whole bunch of Valkyrie operations completed um, due to the um, time lapse um, that I was asleep and now uh, so you can see that the whole bunch of other missions are ready to complete because of the time um, that we're currently in um, that we're at this point in time that I'm recording this video. <laughs> so I, I'm not getting my sentences out fully um, because I, I just woke up. Um, I had to play a bit of the, um, the game. As you can see, that's why the energy bar is like missing a bit because I need to clear the daily missions just to prove a point. So guys, we're going to claim one of the rewards right now. So let's do this. So nothing changed here in terms of rewards except for this. Now what you see right here on this page here, it says um, five singing stones have been inserted into your present box for you. Sadly to say, this notification is a bug that's currently um, re-happening again. Um, ever since the update for 2.1.0 this is an old bug especially when it come, came to Valkyrie operations being implemented into Ultra Macross for the first time so every time you complete a Valkyrie operation even though you have completed them before 
they will notify you that 5 singing stones have been inserted into your present box. So this is a false information because we know for a fact that Valkyrie Operations will not give you swinging stones anymore if you have completed the missions before. So let's go into the present box right now. We're gonna see that you know there is no singing stone rewards from Valkyrie Operations. So as you can see, I scroll through my entire list of rewards. There is no singing stones at all. So that is definitely a bug in terms of Valkyrie Operation. And of course. Yeah, then we're going to move on to the second point um, of the update. So let's go to the song itself. We're just going to enter into the screens for, you know, the songs, uh, the lives itself. And of course, one of the major updates is that you will see this score gauge that is there for you to estimate your end result points for your play of the life itself and of course there's a few more buttons here that has been added or rather it's just one um, so in the past you have this eye icon that is now replaced with this play button with a 1 and a 5 so it's page 1 out of 5 you can tap on it and you change the information page here normally what you will do is by tapping the old eye, eye button information button at the top right hand corner where this button is now um, yeah, so they had to compress all the info because of the new gauge, so that's kind of interesting. So it provides all the information that the old I button used to do, it's just that now that it's in this format, so pretty okay. So the major update for this, other than gauge, is this total button. So you can actually sort your episode plates to display. Um, total score, soul, voice, charm, life, support, and fold. Then, of course, you have your luck, level, skill, and episode. So, you can see the details here. Normally, you will see this. If, let's say, for example, you have selected um, your episode plates to be searched by luck. So, if you auto arrange everything by luck, normally you will see the luck information at the episode click here. So instead, I want to see their total, you can select total, then you get to see their total score at the bottom below the luck value, which is pretty fantastic. And of course, you want to see their soul information and so on and so forth. So that's how this button works. So it is very important to know how this button works when it comes to planning your episode plates for your high score. So that's what the score gauge is actually all about right now is basically to predict your end result high score. That is if you perfect full combo this song. That doesn't include the factor of um, extreme notes uh, affecting your total outcome because extreme notes, um, not, not extreme sorry, excellent notes. Excellent notes are pretty random. They are based off your luck on your episode plates and of course every time you play a song and you perfect full combo you'll notice that your score may be different because the value for your excellent notes um, affect your outcome in the end. So guys, um, some of you probably know um, what I'm going to talk about next because I mentioned it on the Microspace Family Culture Facebook group. The tab here, if you tap the magnifying glass, it will show you the entire list of the color variations and what they mean so let's go through them i'm gonna explain to them uh, explain to you guys what they actually are so the green one which is what you mostly see as your mostly covered color um, is basically your base score which relies on your utahime or which is your diva and your plates status and your standard score. So basically, whatever basic numbers your episode plates have. Um, let's go and take a look at one of them. For example, this one. Whatever your basic episode has, all these numbers here, that is your basic score, which is your green section. And of course, the next one, it's your clothing. So if you are familiar with the Chinese text or kanji, this actually means costume. So whatever costume that affects your stats, you know, if you 
pet touch your diva and then of course you go into the costume sections. Um, the numbers here, the stats, the effects of the costumes are the ones that affect that blue color portion. So that's pretty important to take note as well. Sometimes when we do high score challenges, we forget to change your diva's costume, which might give a slight boost in terms of overall score. Alright, then orange, well, basically is your episode plate um, and its bonus element. So let's say for example, this song is of um, yellow. So if you have more el yellow element plates, you know, that will um, affect your outcome of score as well um, because it is um, you are using the specific type of uh, episode plates for this song itself. You can have different element episode plates involved with the lights because probably the uh, main scores are what the song requires. That's why um, it is equipped in that manner or maybe because the episode plate uh, because this right now is being sorted according to luck those episode plates have the highest luck value that's why they have been chosen instead that kind of thing so if I were to randomize everything by total score you'll see everything has changed to yellow so that's why you know the values have changed and that kind of thing so just an example um, yeah so Basically, after you have understood all this, you will probably know how to manually adjust your episode plates accordingly already. Um, if you have no, uh, no idea on how to manually adjust your episode plates, you can watch my previous video. I'll link it in the description down below and maybe an iCard up there on the top right hand corner. Yeah, so I will be updating that video in the time in the near future because this score gauge system is going to affect um, the, I would say the adjustments of your episode plates so probably going to do an update video maybe in another week or so depending on the time schedule I have available for myself so guys look forward to that alright so let's move on to the next one basically is your yellow score um, which is your combo now the songs 90% play value will affect this combo bonus so if you guys break um, through the song uh, let's say for example you are not able to full combo the song this combo factor will not be fully filled um, because it requires 90% of your song to be you know um, full combo in a way to affect this combo score yeah so uh, have you ever noticed like maybe you miss 10 or 20 notes and then your score really drops in terms of value Yes, that's what this yellow section is all about. That the yellow section, that small tiny portion here, really really hurts when you do not have it um, when it comes to a high score challenge. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is basically your support plates. Um, the support plates are the ones that also help you boosting your score. If you recall, we have talked about episode plate skills um, whenever there's a gacha video involved. So episode plate support is pretty crucial as well because they give you that really really tiny boost in terms of high score. Now exactly the same as the combo one, if these two colors are missing from your overall high score, you can see it's pretty large of a chunk of high score that's missing. Um, that might be the most critical point in terms of um, beating an opponent or maybe breaking your own high score. So yeah. So the most crucial stuff when it comes to high score challenges is basically your combo, your support plates and of course your excellent touches that your lucky leaves or lucky notes or you know um, the, the special 4 leaf, 5 leaf clover um, that you equip onto your episode plate when you have multiple copies of it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about you need to watch another of my tutorial videos all right so um yeah so that's pretty much so far all the colors that i mentioned the rest are pretty straightforward because we have probably seen them in terms of search bars and of course setting up of episode plates if you have set up accordingly to this three um english letter skills 
So the first one will be center skill. So your center skill will affect the high score. So probably because the center skill that I have equipped right now is of well uh apparently this one doesn't have a score boost so I don't know why this is affecting but mainly I think center skill yeah let's take a look at the center skill center skill so this unit's total will be increased by 30% up so yeah so the center skill will affect the overall score because of its ability then of course L which is basically your life, um, your life skill the one that you press at the button in the center of the screen when you're playing a life so that life skill will affect your overall score as well which is pretty strange considering that the life skill for um, Freya's episode flip isn't exactly a score boosting um, life skill sorry guys um, still sleepy here <laughs> so yeah, so let's move um, this away. We're gonna change it to a live active skill that is um, a score boosting one. So yeah, so we have Meline's plate here. Oh, they actually show you a change in gauge. Wow. So that's pretty convenient. So you don't really have to exit out into the main menu. Uh, of the life before playing it to, to compare the differences they will actually show you right here this is fantastic when it comes to manually setting up your episode plate okay so oh um yeah we get to see a change right there fantastic stuff so definitely we will have maximum amount of high score for this particular difficulty which is very hard all right so let's go back in Alright, A skill basically is your active skill, that's what we wanted to see, uh, instead it went with life skill. But when it comes to high score challenges, life and active skill, if you have set up an entire team of plates for high score purposes, this value, the purple, no, red and green will mostly change. Alright, so as you can see, Minin's plate doesn't really boost a lot in terms of active skill the duration is only like 10 seconds um, which is pretty fantastic already um, that's why the green section is a bit tiny because the green section really matters when it comes to when you activate your active skill um, because certain portions of the song there are more notes than certain areas of the song itself so it, Timing wise of activating your active seal also matters when it comes to high score challenges. I have not talked about this before mainly because um, it is a bit too difficult to um, accurately pinpoint each life's um, best position to activate an active skill in terms of high score value because each song has a different set of notes and their pacing is all different so it's really up to the player to gauge when is the best time to activate it as, uh, at that point of time so all right let's move on i think i've stayed on this matter for a bit far too long so the next one will be your score notes so episode plates have those special notes at the end of the uh page so let's take a look here if you remember these this is the score note so episode plates that has score notes will definitely help you in your high score challenges so that's what this um, pink color portion is all about so lucky leaf is basically um, plates with luck uh, lucky notes filled so most of your most of my five star fully evolved plates have this so this is the lucky leaf they are definitely there to affect your overall score which will help you boost in excellent notes appearing you know that kind of thing then of course um, there's a 3% chance of this particular note coming out so this note um, from what I could see from experience it activates uh, your diva's life skills again um, those that um, let's say for example you have an episode plate that has a score boosting capability uh, under the life skill section so this note will activate that skill once more even though it has activated before so that's a pretty awesome thing when it comes to getting a high score challenge I mean it's just a speculation so I haven't really fully read into research into this special note 
because it really seldom happens and it's hard to capture the moment that it does. Alright, so that's pretty much it in terms of the score gauge bar um, and how you can make use of it to actually um, set up your your divas in terms of uh, high score purposes. So yeah, um, oops, so I just realized that this this blue plates, the support, is not um, the support skill, or rather not the li live skill. So I kind of um, misgaged there. Um, the support skill is actually this one, which is from the Kaoa costume. If you guys have remembered the latest update, all these episode plates are the support plates. So yeah, that blue section, yeah, that light blue section is what affects, is affecting by this episode plates here. So guys, um, sorry about that misinformation in the earlier portion. I only just realized it now. So I thought it was actually the support plates, which is all the other plates except the center one. I thought that was what it was referring to, but no, it's actually this one. Okay, so let's move on. Um, we have enough information of the live gauge itself. Um, score gauge, sorry. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about the other biggest update information um, with this patch which is the bingo missions as you can see on the main screen here we have a brand new icon with bingo cards it's lighted up because I waited one whole day just to have it filled up um, so for those who have played the bingo missions in the in yesterday's um, update so some of you guys have probably um, unlocked all of them except one which is the center one Alright, so there we go, we've obtained some of the rewards. If you touch the blue icon here, it can show you all the claimable rewards from the bingo card itself. So we've gotten one row, that's fantastic. So as you can see, we are missing a few more. So we're going to go through what these missions are. So, But before that, I'm going to pull up two more screenshots from two other members on my crossplay time in the culture. I'm going to do a big shout out and thank those guys. Um, thank you, Esther. Uh, thank you, Midori. Um, I think Midori is using a nickname, so it may not be the person's real name. But yes, thank you to to, to, to these two members who have screenshotted their own versions of the different Divas uh, mission cards. So we have Cheryl Noom and of course we have Mikumo. But apparently the nine missions available for all the Divas are the same. So thank you guys for helping out on this uh, just to clarify that no matter which diva you select, the missions are exactly the same. It's just that the rewards um, for the costume plates will be of that particular diva. So like for myself, I've selected Minbei by accident actually. So I wanted to see whether I can actually switch out um, the divas, missions, um, mission cards uh, later on but apparently once you've selected a diva you cannot change the diva until you've completed all three sets there's three sets that's why it's one out of three here of mission plates for the bingo before moving on to the next diva which is kind of sad all right so let's talk about all the nine missions and what they are okay the first one here basically your player rank needs to be eight or more so definitely my player rank is like way past that value <laughs> so guys um that's an easy clear once you enter the bingo mission page you definitely clear it um then the second one which basically is your active skill life recovery you need to activate it once and then of course you know clear a song so yeah so i have uh my luck setup my main active skill is basically a healing skill that's why it's cleared straight away then of course there is an active skill requirement that needs to be a score boosting ability so definitely you need to play a live with a score boosting ability episode play to clear that mission and then of course you need to play um the difficulty of 
normal and above three times to clear this mission which is what I'm currently away from um, because uh, you know to clear the daily missions you just have to play three lives so I played e um, easy at the beginning because I just woke up I didn't want to put my mind to such pressure so that's probably why I didn't clear this because I did play three lives but it's just that I, the first song was of an easy difficulty Alright, then the middle one, which is the most important one, is basically to claim a daily event. Uh, clear a daily event. So, I haven't really gone to claim the rewards yet for the daily events, uh, daily missions, basically. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that later on once I claim them, then we can see whether it's really, really that mission um, requirement. Next one. Okay, so your, your song rate needs to be 100 or more so um, this one is pretty clear cut you just have to play um, a difficulty of a song that you can full combo and of course you can max out your entire song that's what the song the score gauge is all about right now so if you are able to max out that whole bar you are definitely gonna clear this uh, mission straight away and of course the next one here will basically gain uh, 100,000 points in score value and you'll clear it straight away. Following Uta Cho Uta Hime mode, basically your super 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 diva mode activation three times. So you just had to play three lives. Um successfully beat the Valkyrie attack phase. Enter Cho Uta Hime mode. You will clear this mission straight off the bat. Lastly, units, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so your Utahime level has to be of 4. So basically your Diva Affection level has to be level 4. Um, most of you guys will probably have a Diva that is close to fully maxed, which is level 50. Or uh, definitely more than 4. So this will automatically clear as well for those old time players. But if you are a new player, this might take a while. Because leveling up your Diva's affection uh, can be a bit tedious because uh, you have to wait for the touch touch um, points to refresh or you know to feed a uh, gift and uh, Diva affection item to them um, which only can happen once a day. So yes guys, um, we're gonna complete the bingo mission cards right now. Uh, so just give me a sec. I'm gonna try and claim the rewards here. So, so the daily missions. So once I've claimed this, the mission should clear, I think. Oh, it didn't clear. Why? It says daily event once clear. Hmm, so what is a daily event? Oh, don't tell me it's... Oh. oh okay so daily event I think yeah I think it's referring to this now I didn't play it I didn't play this event song today so I guess we could do it now we're gonna clear entire thing so guys be patient I'm going to fast forward the video in terms of this play portion so yeah uh, I'm just gonna go in I'm gonna play once and then uh, hopefully it clears off um, that mission, so yeah, I'm gonna just auto luck. Yeah, here we go. Be right back, guys. Okay, we are done playing the song, so let's head back to check um, the results of the missions and see whether we actually cleared any of them. So, yeah. There we go, we did clear two of them. So we're just short of one last one. Um, basically it's to activate the active skill that we just boost score. So yeah, so equip any episode plates um, that has the abilities to boost your score. So you immediately clear that um, particular mission right there in the top right hand corner. A lot of bingo rewards being obtained right now because we've covered most of the missions. Fantastic stuff. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and complete the last one right there. Okay, so before that, let's go take a look at the episode plates that we've just obtained from the bingo missions. Um, Alright, so I think we can view them from this tab. So let's go to plate list. Uh, okay, that's strange. Uh, so I am currently in the search, um, or rather the assortment for currently received plates. So I don't see the plates here. Maybe it's in the other tab. Maybe you can just go to the episode list. I'm going to scroll through and find Min Mei's Cho, uh, Chong Sam costume, the Chinese dress. Uh, God dang it. <laughs> Searching for it is like finding a needle in a haystack. So many costumes and Valkyries that have been unlocked since uh, the start of the game until now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can see there is this pink thing above the icon. Yeah, that's fantastic. So it shows that. Yeah, there. There we have all the highlighted pink plates um, for just for the costume itself. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so here we go. We have two notes. Um, worth of costume points. 300 points is pretty fantastic. So, yeah. So for newer players, this method of uh, obtaining costume points is definitely going to help you out guys a lot to progress in terms of obtaining all the favorite costumes for your divas or maybe even just you know uh, adding it to your collection worth of um, costumes to be able to use because costumes do have stats and all that so for older players we are mostly looking at obtaining the episode ops um, from this because we already probably have these costumes unlocked so yeah so these episode plates does help um, the older players in some sense because episode ops are pretty hard to come by you can use them to unlock brand new costumes that uh, our favorite divas have uh, attained from events and all this kind of stuff so yeah so just a few more points from getting Min Mei's episode orb Alright, so let's uh, head over to handle that song uh, or rather the mission where we need to activate a active skill that helps boost score. So guys, uh, yeah. Alright, so we finally finished playing that song and we are going to clear the mission as you can see. Collecting all the remaining bonuses or bingos, um, whichever wish you want to call it by. So yeah, um, collecting the last few stuff, and of course we can finally um, exit out of Min Mei's uh, mission bingo card I think. Um, but I'm not too sure because at the top there it says 1 out of 3, so okay so we do exit out of Min Mei's mission card, um, so we can choose another diva. So I guess I'm gonna go with Ranka because she's my bae. Um, but, you know, I'm just taking a look around. Um, yeah, they're all costumes that are the most basic of basics. Um, yeah. So, okay, so, Ranka, here we go. Okay, so, wow! Okay, I didn't expect this. So, you can only probably do... Um, a total of three diva bingo cards from this um, just looking at the number that is currently changed at the top right hand corner of the bingo card has gone from one out of three to two out of three so I guess um, with this I can only probably do one more other diva um, so I probably have to choose wisely so guys uh, make sure you do your favorite divas uh, bingo cards for their costume points um, and if not, I think any diva is fine as long as you're hunting for episode ops. Um, it's probably okay to just pick any diva. And of course, unless you want to have these episode plays in your favorite divas collection. Um, yeah, so guys, we're going to take a look at the um, missions for this uh, second bingo card. Because from the looks of it, it's all different uh, compared to the first one. So yeah. Alright, so let's start with the very first mission, uh, which is automatically cleared. So player rank uh, of 12, as you can see my player rank is 93, so I will instantly clear that without any issues. 
And the second one, um, basically you have to play a difficulty of normal and above, scoring a uh, score rank of S 10 times. So that's pretty easy as long as you continuously play any of the event songs that's currently going on. Or um, the next one will be basically activating a life skill that is uh, score boosting. So life skill, um, do take note, it's not the active skill, it's the ones that are around the active plate. So life skill that has score boosting, make sure you equip something like that onto your Divas team. Okay, the next mission basically, oops, not this one, yeah, this one. Um, so your Divas affection level has to be of 8. So that will be probably automatically clear if you have been touching your favorite diva or uh, gifting your favorite diva with the correct stuff uh, continuously. So that shouldn't be an issue. Next one. So you have to score a score rank of double S one time. So if you play a song and you can full combo the thing, you have no problems with this. Definitely uh, considering that double S is not that difficult to achieve even uh, on the easy normal hard difficulty song all right so the next one um, basically you have to give your diva a present so I guess I have to wait for the end of the day to do this to clear this mission so guys yeah uh, gotta be patient with me the video will be delayed because of this factor uh, in the mission all right so the next mission basically you just need to score 300,000 points or more on the live and you'll clear it instantly and of course the next one is uh, Uta Hime Operation Power Up so um they, you know Valkyrie Operations whenever you play a live then there's this chance for uh, Uta Hime Operation to appear that's basically what it means so the next one beside it is exactly the same thing it's just that this one you just need to have an Uta Hime Operation appear so play a live get the operation to appear power it up by having it retained don't send a team out to clear it uh, play another live to get it powered up and you will clear these two um, bingo missions just like that because both of them are related to each other so yeah that's pretty simple for this bingo card number two so guys uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clear the mission um, throughout the day and we'll come back again once um, the day has resetted on the server and we're going to clear the final mission which is basically gifting your diva and of course um, we'll take a look at um, bingo card number 3 and its mission list so I'll see you guys in a while okay guys so it is the next day the server has resetted that's why the background is dark uh, so it is night time in Japan, past um, 12 midnight in Japan. So as of this time I'm recording, it is kind of uh, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. in Japan. So we're gonna do the last bingo mission as I mentioned earlier in this video. Um, we're gonna gift the diva uh, the gift that they requested. I don't. I think you can actually give a wrong item. It's fine. You will still clear the mission so but of course we're gonna try and uh, make sure that we pay attention to uh, what Basara wants so so he, he apparently wants something to do with household items so I guess we could give this uh, there we go so we got the correct item um, and of course we should be clearing that bingo mission just like that let's take a look there we go, so it does light up, so let's go clear the bingo mission. Oop, there we go, the very last one done, just like this. Okay, let's claim the remaining bingo rewards. Alright, fantastic stuff. Then of course, we will move on to the final bingo card that we can actually do for this time period. Because um, 3 out of 3 is the, la the, the final limit that you can actually... Uh, play with these bingo missions oh what what so apparently um i can't do the third bingo card because 
Um, we have to wait until the 23rd of November, which is uh, two days time from now that I'm recording. It is actually 21st of November right now that I'm still recording this video. Um, the earlier portion of this video, I was recording on the 20th of November. So yeah, so this is very strange. So on the 23rd of November 2018 at midnight, uh, in Japan, so I guess uh, basically when the server resets, you can continue on with the next bingo mission. Yeah, so we guys, we have to wait um, to find out what are the missions for the third bingo card. Oh well, so I probably won't do a video for that, um, you know, when the bingo card get released. Uh, guys, if you want to know more about the bingo missions, I will type them out on the Macross Space Time the Culture Facebook group. Um, so yeah, do join us on the Facebook group if you haven't joined us just yet. Because um, for informations that are not that critical, I will try to just up them up, update you guys on the Facebook group itself rather than making a tutorial video regarding the matter because I can't assure um, that the missions will be the same you know months later when the game has gone into a, uh, a, a bigger change I guess because bingo missions may be taken out in the future who knows um, if Utah Macross does survive time and space <laughs> all right so um, yeah so we have basically taken a look at all the three important um, updates for the version 2.1.0 of Uta Macross uh, that was implemented yesterday or the 20th no not yesterday um, was it yesterday? yeah it was yesterday on the 20th of November 2018 um, so yeah that's pretty much it I don't have anything else to add for this tutorial but guys if you are still unsure of stuff do let me know in the comments down below do ask me questions i would love to help you guys out or maybe you can always message me on facebook and the macross space time the culture you can always tag me with your questionaries or anything like that um so yeah uh, i will definitely try and help uh, do my best to translate all this stuff for you guys uh, if you guys are unsure uh, for the meantime we do have the current event going on so as you can see it is currently um, the day that this event has already begun and I am now going to end this video by saying thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys find all this information useful if you do find it useful do hit that like button down below and of course subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel just yet for more videos like this and of course if you're interested in whatever else I do on my YouTube channel go ahead and enjoy them as well and I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross tutorial video. Until then, bye!